Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're watching Underverse episode 0 0.3, part 1, the first two-part episode in this entire series of Underverse. Maybe not for x but I haven't watched that yet, I'll watch that after 0 0.4, like I've been advised, because reasons people have not told me and would count as spoilers. More importantly, if I'm right, we're moving into Underswap now, which I know is basically Underverse, but they swap characters around, it's just really funny because of the dissonance, and I'm here for this because I don't know anything about Underswap other than what I just said. So I'm going to really look forward to both finding that out and seeing what the hell Cross is going to just fuck up here and how Ink is going to slightly help. I don't know what his deal is yet, but something about him feels off and I can't wait to find out what. Otherwise, you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up and let's get started. I know I say every time, but let's take five. I just love this little intro piano riff before it moves into the rest of the tune. It's just really good at setting the tone and says a lot about Cross just because he's there, silent, very Kingdom Hearts vibe in the intro sequence. And here showing like the smile, but not smiling. It very much sets a tone that if it showed him super violent, he would be much less approachable, but as long as it's showing him being restrained, it's like, okay, there's pain here, but he's not the villain. I'm actually not entirely sure who's the villain yet. It's probably Air, but for some reason, I mean, Nightmare is going to play the villain, but I don't know if either of them is actually the villain. They seem more like secondary antagonists. Hmm. And the wind always oh, sounds so cool. Snowden? Oh, he's bringing in the Snowden and Snowden. Well, Snowden that he stole. Wait, what happened to his arm? Oh, he's still damaged. There's X's on it, so it's. Huh, we missed that before. And finally, ours. Just a little glitchy. I wouldn't be happy about it. Look what they did to us. Yeah. Besides, we didn't get everything we wanted. People. More places. That's so for me. Wait, they wanted to take the people too? Because they don't just want to rebuild their home, they want to fully rebuild the people, and the best way is just to steal them. They're literally building their own crossover. I know that joke has already hit a few times, but dear God, it just gets more and more literal every time. Next time, remember, just listen to me. Remember that you can bring all of this thanks to my code. You're just a tool. You don't have the right to think. Only cause trouble. Damn. That sounds like an obvious lie. I'm a tool. <laughs> what the fuck? Just random fresh interrupt. Oh, wow. Also, they didn't even notice. He just happened to be there. Well, well, my sup, my rad neighborhood skillapal. Oh, why is it that I enjoy puns normally, even Sansa's, and they're like painful, but they're good. But I just, uh, something about fresh, it just, it, it's like trying too hard. But I like that it's trying too hard. Is that weird? It's probably weird. Yep. Every line is a different color. Is that, oh God, it's not just his outfit. It's actually the words too. And also, this is the correct approach to that. It's literally the, oh, no, no, no look of, I, I'm not dealing with this. I know that look, and it's very much the case. Also, he has zippers on his legs for his shorts that are already short, so just slightly shorter shorts. I, I just, no. Yo, I heard over there having a totes time rat all up and st I'm actually having trouble reading his lines. Yo, I heard over there that yeah, have it a totes rad time all up in stealing parts from other places. Run, bro. Pretty unrad of you to. I, I just. Okay. I just. Uh... I'm an English major. I like words that make sense, I don't like simplifications or slang. And this is just, just pain. I do like his design. I do like how he's doing the menacing. And he's actually got that menacing eye, which is a triangle or a square. 
you know, pretty unread of ya to all up and go have fun on ya own? You know? Ooh, 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 the font shift there. And that goes with the eyes showing that that's a bit of the parasite infecting this version of Sans. Yeah, people told me about Fresh that way, and honestly, kind of makes it more interesting. So I was all up and thinking, maybe we could throw a totes soft to hook party like to welcome you and stuff. As they right. Yeah, just run. It's probably safer. Well, you're gonna get pee bored. Hee hee. I know. What? What's going on over here? Oh, because it was snowed in from the drungy, grungy episode. Why do they just have random underwear? You know, let's not ask about that. You can understand anything he's saying. Yeah, I get that. This house is a mess. It's not that bad. I guess. Kind of is. It's a shame we couldn't spend more time in that AU. I mean, you could have. We only needed to get a human soul for me. We could go back to Underfell. Now that we know the access route. Oh, they could. I don't want to go back there. You already hurt them. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to get my own part. What? I can't believe you're okay with just half a soul. You have to be a little bit more determined, don't you think so? I'm tired. Leave me alone. How boring you are. And if they had got the half of the soul for them, it would either be Kara or Frisk, but either one would be the one good person who's changing that route. And that would have probably sunk that timeline even more thoroughly than just taking Snowden. So, yeah, it definitely does feel like Cross is acting the villain, but they're not the villain because C seems like they could insist. I can never remember is Cross or C, Sans and Kara or ah, uh, whatever. Cross is the skeleton and hair sands, and C is the not Kara in their head. Or is that not Frisk in their head? I'm assuming Kara because C, but I don't actually know for certain. Huh. Probably important. I'll get to it later, though. Whatever the names of our next destination, you just have been... Ah, I couldn't read fast enough. Yoink. What did that say? The next destinations have just been stored in your mind. Oh. We'll come back here again to start modifying the code of our world. And then... Hey, are you listening to me? No, he was taking a nap. <laughs> wow. You're really tired. Why don't you sleep a little while? No. I can't waste time. Because when he's... That's probably why we initially saw his body instead of cross his body because I just got the joke with the name cross it's not even just exo or he's a skeleton he's a skull and crossbones who's stealing stuff I don't how many puns is this layered on there god I did there's probably a third one I don't even realize Come on, Belle, you should take a rest. You deserve it. It's been a long time since you slept. And let him take over the body, yeah. I'll be tired too. Doubt it. Okay, but only for a few minutes. What's he gonna do? Wait, there's a chain? Why is there a red chain? Determination? Oh, that's not good. Is it to C or something else? That doesn't look like C. You're a fool. Okay, it is C. Haha, <laughs> I knew this would work. Now you be the one who hides behind me. Hmm, let's see. How can I use your powers? He took over the body, but he kind of already did that. But then Ink mentioned how C was slowly taking over a bit of him as well, and... Okay. So this is still a power struggle. They're not completely on board. What are you doing? Feels odd having a monster body. But it doesn't matter. Wow. 
They really do a good job of just showing the differentiation in character. Even if they didn't add the extra line up there or the eyes, just having the smile go full slasher, but the eyes being massively wide open, it's such a change in characterization that you don't actually need any indication to know that this is a possessed body. It does work, though. Once I get my human soul, I'll be able to have lots of fun. Sweet dreams, dear friend. Okay, that did not look good. The only other time we saw that was the corrupted Gaster in Come Back. Also, someone did send me the entire dialogue of that, and it's more sad than I realized. Like, really fucked up sad. So whatever corrupted Gaster and destroyed this world initially is still in C as well. And he also has a cut on his eye. Or under the eye. Huh. And that's probably why there's an X over his eye and the line is not straight like this one. Where this shows his determination, this one shows the cut. Huh. There's probably another line hidden behind the bang. I knew I couldn't trust you. Probably not. Oh, shit! Well, that escalated. Kara? Okay, it is Kara. Hey, kiddo. Kara? <laughs> You're knocked out. Fine. I got rid of you, stupid little kid. Do you like talking to yourself? Technically, yes. Nightmare. How much of that did you see? Are you surprised? I just realized they have him speaking louder and faster. Or not faster, like... I think they dropped the register of his usual sound effect of the typing that goes with... I just realized that is a typing sound effect. That goes with it. But then they seem to shorten the length between them so they happen quicker together, but also deeper register to make it sound like a nightmare. Yeah. What did you expect? That I would take you wherever you wanted and then I wouldn't come back until you called me as if I were a dog? At least I don't have to beg you to help me come back to my world. I can do it on my own. I want you to take me to the next world. It's called under that. He did not like me talking down to. What am I trying to? Idiots less pathetic than you have tried to fool me without success. Thank you. The first idiot who will do it. I told you not to kill anybody. I ne What? I told you not to kill anybody. But he didn't kill anybody. But he nearly did kill his other part who he's putting the damage to. But why would Nightmare care about that? Now, Nightmare, I get He wants to spread the bad endings. He wants to spread the negative feelings. He's just negativity incarnate and then slightly fucked up on top of that. But actively not wanting people killed as host, or does he have another plan going? I need every single one of them alive to use them for your stupid purposes. Do you think I'm helping you just because I like you? I don't want to kill anybody. I'm just taking the code of each world to reestablish mine. I just want to kill them so they can leave me alone. Don't get too scared. I just had a sudden rage. You're pale. I'm just asking to fill your side of the deal. And his smile retreated back down to normal portions rather than that just massive inked over blotch on his face that happened to resemble a smile. Actually, blotch isn't the right word. It's more like it was a cut that had frayed fabric on top of it. I love that effect. It looks terrifying. Hmm. You don't get hurt, do we? Tell me again the name of the place you want to go. Ah, just one more thing. If I see you doing something that might break the deal, I personally will make you relive the death of your universe again and again until you no longer have any desire to keep living your stupid life. Is that clear? Damn! That is fucked up. And why does he need people alive to complete his end of the deal? 
Probably because it'll be more nightmare fuel by the end of it. This is oddly happy. Nice burgers. Why is there a just a... I'm sorry. What the... Oh, it's the dog with the long neck. And there's just someone climbing up the neck. That is weird. Aww. Yep, underfell because Queen Toriel and just nice dad has gore. He kind of rocks it, actually. <laughs> Do what you must. You fit more. <laughs> This the surface. What? It's pointless. I can't use the hack if the car is not awake. I guess I'll just work for a nightmare. Meanwhile. Huh. So Cross is the one who wants to go for nightmare. Where Kara wants to take over the body to get his own soul, and he's okay with abandoning everyone. Hmm. Wasn't sure which side was which on that. Well, well, taking a break on your working shift, little bro. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I confused you with my brother. You look a little bit like him. What? Oh. Oh. So that's his version of Papyrus who had the X'd out face. Unlike what Kara did, which was the Red X, so this is someone else doing it. Or is that just blocking the memory? Also, they all have X's everywhere. Was that just a thing they did? I thought it was an indication of, like, I'm the crossover event. It's edgy. But no, apparently that's just a style for his universe. I never saw you around here. Whatever. Nice costume, though. Halloween is October, buddy. <laughs> Oh, there's something slightly weird I love it about him making puns. You can see you're a little tired. You're lucky I found a taco shop nearby. Ebo Taco. Oh, because it's Mount Abot. So they're at Ebo Taco. Frankly, they should call it Smug Taco, and I kind of love it, except for the fact that they chose the most disgusting version of all food possible. Hard-shelled. Ugh. I, I just lost all respect for the taste in food. No. Hard shell tacos are an abomination against nature. Burritos or soft shell tacos are superior. I've made my choice. I'm standing by that one. I can share one with you if you want. <laughs> Humans also make them. These have just been made. <laughs> tacos! Oh my god, they even had the cat noise. <laughs> So this is for ink used. Ah, I missed what that said. So this is where ink used to bring them. Oh, this is from where ink used to bring them. Oh, he would always hit up here. Are you sure you really don't know my brother, sons? I think you could be good friends. <laughs> Chocolate! No, stop, this is mine! <laughs> I'm sorry, they just keep bringing in the angry cat noises. <laughs> it's probably more like a jaguar or a cougar, but still, cat is cat. Hey, you two, don't waste time and come here to help. Okay, one. Damn, they actually rock that look, too. Scientist Undine. I didn't realize that actually was incredibly cute. That is kind of amazing. I like your new look, Sans. Nah. He's not my bro. Nap station. He's an interesting little buddy. Getting their memories. Oh, wait. These code fragments, they seem too familiar. So that's what they had. What differences were there between the images? Let's see if we can pull it up. Okay, so this is actually what we see here. They're very similar, but not quite the same. The background is just changed and shading a slight bit. But these characters are significantly different, so we can actually see what they were supposed to look like in Cross's timeline. We already saw what he looked like, so we know it's Papyrus. But it's hard to make out the rest. 
probably super edgy and covered in X's. I wonder why everything's white. Go for they seem too familiar. Why? Was his universe based on Underswamp? Howdy, everyone. I brought a little something for you. <laughs> oh, hello, young one. <laughs> Is everything okay? Would you like some pie? Oh, wow. They're just hitting him in the fields right now. And he's going to do what he must because it's all hurting him. Of course they made him a ninja. I don't... Yeah, and there's X's on everyone. Every single person has an X. Of course they are. Uh, lashing out his hand. Ooh, cut to the face even. What are you doing? I must continue with the job, brother. Oh my god. So now we get to see him fight more than Kara fighting through him. Or C. It has really fragile stuff in her lab. Huh? What is it, human? Oh, cut those for me? It's a little bit of paint there remaining. Byrus and I were painting the house. <laughs> we will use it for our new home. <laughs> anyway, let's keep working. Oh. 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 Oh, he just got out of the way. Don't worry, you and we'll clean this in. What? He dropped the ink and they came through it. And now they have the purple ink stained through it. I love the fact that he's just regular, but they just got smashed with what he was going to get anyways. <laughs> oh, I also love how just because under, ver or sorry, under fell sense is here, they immediately look like the bad guys. And because it looks like he's bleeding ink from his eyes, it looks even more creepy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Whoa, we've created clones. Wait, ink? Hi, old friend. Wait, what? Oh! So, yeah, this is actually where he's getting the tacos and under Swap Sands Nose Ink. Huh. I mean, it makes sense. I guess he did mention that's where he got the tacos. I thought he was just reaching, though, but apparently not. Ah, hi. Long time no see. Ignore these two. They're weird clones that will die soon. Are you serious, pal? Okay, it was a very bad idea to stay with along with you. This is just ridiculous. I must admit, that's not very funny. That's not funny. Oh, I love this. They're just so done with him already. <laughs> and when Sans is telling Sans his jokes are bad. He has to be soulless for a joke that horrible. Man, nice to meet you. I hope you can enjoy your last living moments. I don't know which is weirder. His actual rage at being said, Hi, I hope you enjoy your death. Him, under Swap Sands, meaning it and being so cutesy. The music sounding so cheery and light and airy and bright and hopeful to underscore the fact that he's not being a dick. Or this regular Sands over here going, Yeah, I get it. I'm just enjoying your pain at this point while looking at Underfell Sands. <laughs> Uh, apparently we're moving everything to the surface. Will that help us? Don't touch me, you weirdo. Hey, edgy me. You hear where we are? Try to do a little bit this time. Has he ever seen the surface? Whoa. He hasn't. Aw, you can actually cry. I'm sorry, I just, this is... <laughs> Cat Catface Sands. I never thought that would be a thing. I like it almost as much as just the super edgy sense having a moment of absolute amazement of where he's at. I was like, he's actually tearing up. And then he's just be like, yeah, don't worry, little one. I got you. <laughs> oh, the situation is hilarious. And this is what I love about crossovers in general. Just these moments of just realization and stupidity. <laughs> oh. I think 
Underfell signs is one of my favorite just to deal with other people. These are really weird quotes. He actually still believes that. Whatever, pal. I'm just passing by. You see, there's someone who is stranded. I've been looking for him. What? Wait, what? Someone who's been stranded. I've been looking for him. Frisk is nervous, but it can't be them because they're currently on the surface. So from their perspective, they would already be out of the place where they're stranded. So the only reason they would be nervous is if they know something else. I was not expecting Frisk to be the one with a secret going on. Ah, no. We haven't seen anybody over here. Wait. Oh no, somebody is missing! Seems like a job for the Magnificent Sons and his loyal friend, the human! I think I just got why he was nervous because he knows exactly what Sans is going to do. Oh my god. <laughs> There's something remarkably adorable about seeing Sans with the energy of Papyrus. But where could he be? If the berry was destroyed, I don't think it'll be easy to find Cross. Could be anywhere. I know. But there's a simple way to find him. Do nothing. Wait, are you going to let this place become a disaster like mine just to find him? Yes. Yes, I think that's exactly what he's planning on doing. And by find, I mean, it just so happens to work out they find him after he got what he wants. I mean, that would not be like Ink would ever intentionally let that happen because someone else is creating an AU for him. Oh, that's his plan. It's how he breaks the deal with error. He can't help it anymore. He just has to fail to stop Cross from creating a new AU because there's nothing there. So, and it technically doesn't count as a new one because it already had one, but it was destroyed, but he's undestroying it, which is also a slap in error's face, but he can break the deal this way. So he's not trying to save anyone. He's just letting bits of them happen to be moved over to a new AU. He's not the one doing it anymore. Someone working for the bad guys is. And that's... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So he gets what he wants to protect an AU and create more without breaking his deal, without error finding a way to do it. And because error seems incredibly straightforward, like smart, but he's very straightforward in his approach. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that Ink is the one who is altering the deal. I guess he should pray they don't alter it further. Up until error has it pointed out to him or he figures out, in which case... He will either take liberties or go, fuck this shit, I'm break all y'all. Which, admittedly, might be a really cool interlude or maybe an ending to a season or series. Hmm. He's in the city of the humans with the other monsters for sure. Let's get going because plot says otherwise. Let's just get this over with. And Ink stayed behind. He knows. What's he looking at? A heart? I don't think he has one, so it can't be his. Unless it's an ink file for his heart. Hmm. But what is... What? Quintorial? Are you okay? Oh, but she got the cut across her eye. Sons. Human. I'm glad to know that nothing happened to you. A monster attacked everyone in the center. He's out of control. I just did everything she could to stop it. It was useless. Oh, wow. The virus prevented me from fighting. What? My brother? And the human's going it. My child, wait. Now I'll go after them. Quick. I know the trick to be cross. Violence! More violence, even! And they're just randomly breaking things again. Is this where they get the human soul? Quick, get out of here! Oh no! You won't get away that easily. Ink is fighting? This world needs panic and hatred from all of you. Yep! Yeah. Didn't really do the panic much because the last place was so hard, but. Here! Yeah. Double blasters. Who the hell are you? Long story, bro. I mean, buddy. Just stay close. 
Again. Wait. Why are you doing this? Anybody do something bad to you? Uh, he already figured it out. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Why is it shifting to Frisk? Like, Frisk is the one seeing that. And more importantly... This is a weird image because it's not seen from Cross's perspective. Everything else is things he's seen. Even looking up at characters like Papyrus from a lower perspective to show that it's his eye. It's his viewpoint we're seeing them from. We haven't ever seen something from anyone else's perspective. And the only other character who could be seeing this would be Kara or C. So we're seeing something from C's perspective, which means whatever fucked up everyone hit cross as well what and it's not just them because there's their version of frisk probably and we already know that Kara was corrupted he's back to his mind I know cross to say you, this pacifist timeline, probably reminds you of a lot of things, doesn't it? I'll fail again if I tell you to stop, but do you think that it's fair to do the same thing he did in your world? You're messing up the timelines, modifying their course by force. Is Ink giving them a moment? Can he do that? I want to see that again. Yeah, there's ink with him. Is this from his perspective or is this something ink is doing? I don't actually know. This is a very interesting scene because I'm not sure which part is real and which part is in Cross's head. Mm -hmm. of course, of course. Just for a silly whim, which he's probably okay with. I can't let that happen again. Really, though? Who told you that? You don't know anything about me, Ink. My pride is taking parts from these places of my world. The perfect home that you refuse to give me back. You also won't scare me if you talk about Gaster. I don't care if he's... Wait, 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 wait. I care about Gaster. I don't care if he still exists. Yeah. Okay, yeah, confirm... Definitely confirming the gaster still exists because there's no point in actually pointing him out and making a joke about, or not even a joke, just a reference like, I don't care if he still exists, if he actually doesn't still exist. Because it really narratively doesn't really fit. Unless the people making this, unless Jail Penaloza is less competent than they've displayed so far. And considering how crazed everyone is about this and frankly how good it's been so far, I'm not edging on that side of the option. So... In all likelihood, by saying, I don't care if he still exists, means he's going to have to exist and they're going to have to confront him. Also, the entire comeback thing does not make sense if he didn't currently exist. He won't be in my new world. Is your pup? Card tried to be smarter than me, but I'll be the one who will control over this body forever. Doubt it. He's currently not here. It doesn't mean that I'm weaker and I'll give up. Oh, it also means a new fighting style. Ooh, it's not about that, see? X event can't last forever. It's just a game. It's not worth to alter the course of other stories. There's no hope for your old world. I'm sorry. It's just a game? Because it's an event. It didn't happen in all of them. It's just a one-time thing. Uh, okay, that's why it's called a... Yeah. Interesting, though. I'm pretty sure his entire plan is just to make new worlds with having him pull the parts to do it. But he's fighting pretty hard right now. Or talking a big game, at least. Maybe that's the point. You don't have a house. I have an idea. Underswap. This is actually really nice. Now that on the surface, that won't matter. It's never late to have a new home and new friends. I hate you all. <laughs> And under Fell Sands comes in for the big one. Oh, he broke the heart across. Oh, 
The papyrus helped. And original sense is just there. That was too easy. I told you attacking and distracted would work. It was a great idea, Sans. Nah, it wasn't mine. Someone else told me about it. Wait, why is that gray? Poor little buddy. We should take him home so he can recover. You think that's a good idea? Wait, 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 what? You think is not a good idea. Oh, it should be you think it's not a good idea. It's just a little effed up language. Okay, not a big deal. Here we go again with the alternate versions. What'd you do now, bonehead? <laughs> nothing, pal, nothing. We're sorry for this. We'll leave now, okay? I love this version of Papyrus. Sans? Ah, this Sans. Take the other half of your soul. It's time to go home. Oh, sure. Why do I feel something's gonna happen? He just returned all. Oh! So without... So, now that's interesting. I want to make sure I saw this correctly. I want to watch it one more time. So with the part removed... Yeah! Okay, so we have what looks to be the merged version for the X-Over, or the crossover event. And then we go down to the base sands for the world that was destroyed and then dropping down to Kara or C. Huh. Showing that this is the base form. Because as soon as they pulled out the monster soul and all they had left was the empty half. Yeah. Hmm. And they're back to the initial problem. Frankly, I'm a little surprised this happened, which is also why I think something else happened. Actually, it's kind of weird now that I think about it. They were all on their own fighting, and they decide only to cut her eye and run away? Huh. Maybe Cross did something else. Initially, I thought the transformation was just him dropping an axe, but... Frisk, what are you about to do? Getting a human soul. Oh boy, you've made a huge mistake. HP 20 down to 10. Down to 1. Down to all of it. No, no, still just that. Oh. What? Cross is back. No, C. Greetings. And just goes to X's for the cross event, yeah. Thank you for waking me up. I missed having a physical body, even if it's just 95% of it. Eh, I mean, you know what they say. If it's like less than 50%, you're only half dead. You can get better. Cross was really silly all this time. He's too easy to manipulate, don't you think? He thought nothing like this would happen again. Uh, but here I am. Kara? Wait, what's up with that look? Oh, you really didn't want to see me again. Even though you always wanted to see the X-Men at its fullest, isn't that right? Old friend. Hank, what's going on here? Yeah, that's fucked up. It bleached the color? What happened? Yeah. Where are they? Okay, so it's literally a negative space where they have... Actually, not negative because that would be inverted colors. It's a black and white domain, almost like a sketch. Maybe that's it. It's literally just inked in. Huh. They're back in... Oh, he went to their stolen world. I'm sorry, what did that say? Cameo magazine. Friends, hip celebrities. 
I don't get the cameo reference here, but oh my god, just a random they actually called it cameo. What are they doing there? Gar, your intentions are different from Cross. Drop that soul or I'll be obligated to hurt you. And inks there. Not so fast. I'm gonna rush this guy. He's full of surprises. Oh! Were you so grateful you showed... Ah! We were so grateful when you showed to Gaster and me the multiverse and its timelines. I always wanted to find a universe with similarities to mine. Like this one. You've done a very good job protecting all these worlds, Inc. Whatever. It's time to pay Nimer back for his help. Whatever. It's time. I'll ask you what you save for me later. Now. No. Oh. The ink that looked like a heart temporarily when he was looking at it had that overview. Or like not the overview, like that less than transparent or slightly transparent version of a heart over it. I thought it was an upside down heart, but does that cross his heart? Like his actual soul? Because saying what you say for me implies that Ink had that the entire time. Was he trying to starve out Kara? I thought he was trying to force it, but I feel like I'm missing information still. Look how much despair is inside of you. This is your fault, you know it. Big knife. Purple knife. And he's stealing the ground. But not where they're standing. Is he stealing the people? He's stealing the people this time. Do they get their bodies back or are they just hearts? Oh, they're all infected. The past of his time won't be wasted as long as there's some suffering like old times. Just with three of them. Three of them. The pacifist timeline won't be wasted as long as it has some suffering, just like old times. Just with three. That is a reference. I don't get it. Better stories always have blood and tears. Am I right, Ink? The pacifist timeline to say you deserve to be the best as mine was. Don't worry, if I kill you by accident. Oh no, don't you dare do that again. Wait. What the fuck? Okay, so we have their normal bodies. Then we skip forward and we see him projecting his version and the projected version is a different expression. And then when they switch back to their normal bodies, okay, they're back to normal. But yeah, the expressions for Papyrus and Sans don't change. And it's him as Cross. Oh, it's that's because it's Kara. It's weird though. Just the three of them, because that's the three people in the crossover. They're probably a team, essentially. Okay. Fix it is if nothing had happened with something better than our old power. What? Overwrite? Oh. So, Kara, or sorry, C is just literally slightly more multiversal Agent Smith. I can say we're all in the Matrix, but it's pretty apt, actually, now that I think about it. In fact, you can even make the point that this is just a sequel to it. Or a prequel, for all I care. And it's a good thing they never add any others that would ever do that, because I would much prefer this to be the one I would use as that. Yeah. More importantly, oh, there's a lot going on here. The mention of Gastrin definitely indicating he's coming up sometime on top of coming back, which just leaves no doubt he's going to be a player at some point. Nightmare getting directly involved, which I don't actually know the relationship between Nightmare and Ink yet. They have to know each other. Hell, it looks like Nightmare's just bleeding Ink. I mean, it kind of looks like that. It really does. But I just... I, 
I can see why this is a two-parter. Because the lead-up was just making them seem so happy and nice. So that whatever happens next, now that they've been overwritten, not just hacked, they're actually being overwritten as, here's what I think reality should be. That's coming up next. The big thing, though, the one that really stands out to me more than anything else, Ink. I thought initially he was just letting Cross go on, like seeing what the X over event in his full would do. What would happen if he made a new AU? Something that he could do to get around the truce. But then the horror at seeing C with a body after stealing most of Frisk's HP, that... There's more going on. There's stuff he knows that I don't know, and it's probably something I can get out of Exhale, but I like the mystery going into it. <laughs> it's just freaking cool, man. Just trying to figure out what the motivations. I love this. I think I have an idea where Ink is going, but then it just throws me for a random curve, and I don't know again, and I just, this is, this is fun. I like it when stories have depth when they're not straightforward, and this is showing a really good way of that. Yeah, I'm geeking out. I'm aware of it. But if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up and geek out with me because it's fun. It's what we're here for. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and I should probably mention, if you're still watching right now, I have been putting up some of these videos early for members on the channel. So if you want to see it before I normally put it out for everyone, yeah, go for a member. I'm trying to do it with a lot more videos, but it really just depends on how much I kick my ass in gear. <laughs> I will try and do it more often, though. Otherwise, see you guys then. Adios.